Okay, uh, so in our uh, last class, we discussed about uh, vitamin B6 and uh, vitamin B3. And uh, today's class, uh, we will discuss a few more uh, vitamins, uh, that is vitamin H. And now let's uh, discuss about vitamin H. So vitamin H, uh, uh, it's also called as biotin and uh, it belongs to the water soluble so vitamin h uh, is also known as biotin and it's a water soluble and the source of vitamin h or biotin is uh, present in yeast okay uh, biotin is also present in liver okay it's also present in milk and of course it's also present in egg deficiency effects so biotin uh, deficiency uh, can be found in people who maintain a diet high in raw egg okay let me give an entry right okay so deficiency effects so biotin deficiency okay let's make an entry okay right so biotin uh, h or uh, uh, vitamin h or biotin it is a water soluble uh, vitamin it is present in yeast liver milk egg and uh, the deficiency effects are a biotin deficiency can be found in people who maintain a diet high in raw egg and uh, this is the structure of uh, biotin so you know that uh, this part okay it's a bicyclic uh, compound okay so maybe you can say that uh, the two nitrogens are at one and three position means it should be a imidazole one and a five-membered ring with uh, sulfur, it is a uh, tetrahydrothiophene moiety. And of course, a long chain having a carboxylic acid one. And completely, it's called uh, biotin. So uh, let's move to the next slide. Next slide will give you the information about uh, synthesis of biotin. Okay, uh, why we need to synthesize? I think uh, we cannot take yeast, liver, and milk, and egg. Okay, these are precious material for many people. And uh, so extracting uh, biotin from this, uh, it's a two cost. Okay, uh, so whereas synthesizing in a laboratory uh, may be the commercial method and uh, economical uh, one. So that is the reason one should think about the synthesis of uh, biotin. And the synthesis starts with uh, two reactant. This is one reactant, and this will be the another reactant. If you want to name this compound, so you know that uh, 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 this is called benzyl group. OK, uh, pH means uh, benzene moiety. More particularly, uh, we can also say that uh, uh, what you call uh, uh, PHCO means uh, benzoyl. Okay, more particularly, what we can say that BENZOYL. Okay, benzoyl group. 
BEN ZO OL group is called benzoyl group and here the benzoyl group is uh, protected the amino group i think just like uh, amine is treated with benzoyl chloride so benzoyl chloride means uh, ben zo ol zo ol means uh, ph co cl okay it is not uh, ph ch2 cl ph uh, ph ch2 cl is called benzyl benzyl means ben zyl okay you should uh, uh, aware about the difference between the benzyl and benzoyl so benzyl means ph ch2 so benzoyl means ph co so here ph co is protected amino is protected and of course this is a ketone and uh, the moiety okay is called uh, thiophene okay if there is a double bond here and double bond here then it is called thiophene if there is no double bond we can say is the tetrahydrothiophene and this we you have to give a priority to the sulfur heteroatom so 1 2 3 so that means at the third position there is a substituent called uh, uh, keto group so what we can say that 3 oxo and the fourth position what is there amido so which amido the nhco group is called amide group and this is the uh, benzene moiety so fourth position benzamido now it is a substituent fourth position benzamido and the third position oxo okay oxo means a keto okay, we can say that keto or oxo oxo is the uh, iupac nomenclature uh, for the substituent of ketone so uh, four benzamido three oxo or keto a tetrahydro there is no double bond no that is the reason tetrahydro uh, otherwise what we can say that if one of the proton is moving from here to here then there is a formation of double bond means then it should be 4 comma 5 dihydro okay uh, thiophene okay will be the name of this compound and what is the name of this compound you know that it's an ester methyl ester okay this is one two three four five and uh, 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 ester takes the priority and this will be a substituent and this is the functional group and this carbon is called alpha carbon this carbon is called beta carbon and this carbon is called gamma carbon so gamma gamma formyl group this group is called formyl group gamma formyl uh, butyrate now again i'm mentioning here gamma formyl butyrate is a uh, uh, trivial name or common name but this is not the iupac name if you want to say about iupac name for this uh, methyl okay and one two three four five okay uh, five carbon atoms is there so methyl uh, four four mile uh, so uh, four carbon one two three four okay uh, if you are accounting this also uh, it will be a five okay uh, maybe uh, methyl so how we can account for a formyl group so for the uh, position no i think okay uh, we, uh, maybe what we can say that uh, conveniently we can take the common name for this but uh, if you want to try for iupac name uh, for this moiety then this should be methyl and uh, of course uh, uh, maybe at the fourth position you uh, four oxo so you can take this as a oxo is the substituent for uh, rdid as well as a ketone functional group uh, otherwise you can also take four formyl so fourth position formyl group is there 
ब्यूटेन ब्यूटी रेट ओके राइट दैट्स ऑल सो मीथाइल फोर फार्माइल ब्यूटी रेट विल बी द आईयूपीएसी नेम गामा फार्माइल ब्यूटी रेट इज द कॉमन नेम सो व्हाट विल हैपन हियर पिरिडीन इज अ बेस मोर पर्टिकुलरली पिरिमिडीन ओके more particularly it's an organic uh, base so what will happen here you know that sulfur is a hetero atom a carbonyl group is also a electron withdrawing uh, functional group so because of that this proton is acidic in nature so uh, this proton can be easily captured by a base so forming an anion so that anion is react with an aldehyde convert aldehyde into alcohol so one more proton can be removed from here that means base can abstract a one more proton on this carbon and that again attack the alcohol of the uh, carbon and uh, going out here the a water molecule is going out and there will be a formation of product uh, uh, more particularly a double bond formation between this carbon and this carbon so that is how alpha beta unsaturated uh, ketone is obtained this is alpha beta uh, ketone of course uh, if you are taking about the uh, thiophene means uh, exocyclic double bond uh, uh, is the this one and uh, overall a condensed product is obtained like this and this condensed product is subjected to a uh, reaction with uh, hydroxyl amine group you know that hydroxyl amine group is the one uh, which convert a, a ketone into hexyme okay hydroxyl amine uh, you know that hydroxyl amine is the reagent which convert a ketone this is the ketone into hexyme so what it means there will be a removal of water how the removal oxygen and h2 oxygen and h2 will go out so h2o so then what will form it will form a uh, new bond between this carbon carbon double bond and the nitrogen so the what is the obtained compound the obtained compound is c double bond noh c double bond noh is called the hexyme so that hexyme is reduced with zinc in acetic acid so uh, zinc is a, a dissolved metal uh, reduction this comes under a dissolved metal reduction so zinc supplies electron so then uh, c double bond n is gets converted into c single bond n that means oxyme c double bond noh is converted into c single bond nh2 amino group is formed here the obtained amino is acetylated with acetic anhydride so it's a acetylation n acetylation obtained amino group is treated with acetic anhydride to convert into a n acetyl acetyl n acetyl is obtained so this is a this is how a functional group of uh, this moiety is converted into this so this involves the formation of hexyme and the obtained oxyme uh, reduces to amine and that amine is treated with uh, acetic anhydride to give uh, n acetyl compound and uh, one more step also is there so that is uh, catalytic hydrogenation so the catalytic hydrogenation means it supplies hydrogen so where it it will sub, uh, supplies it reduces this exocyclic double bond to the saturated one so here uh, uh three to four steps are included the first step is oxyme preparation second step is reduction of oxyme to amine and the third step is amine is converted into n acetyl and the fourth step is uh, catalytic hydrogenation conversion of unsaturated double bond to saturated double bonds so that is how this product is obtained and this uh, side chain does not affect uh, during this process so now uh, conversion of this to this how it is possible the first step is the 
hydrolysis step hydrolysis means you know that uh, many for many this is acetamide and this is benzamide and this one is ester okay all the things okay ester is hydrolyzed uh, n acetyl is hydrolyzed and n benzoyl group is also acetylide how these are acetylized so let's look into that so this moiety when it is treated with the barium hydroxide okay it's a mild oxidizing agent of course during this mild oxidizing agent so maybe selectively n acetyl may be uh, cleaved into a uh, nh2 and h2so4 is a strong uh, oxide uh, uh, strong uh, hydrolyze hydrolyzing agent so it can convert uh, 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 ester into methanol okay and uh, this uh, benzoic uh, benzoyl group into benzoic acid and of course this is also will go out so overall this ester cleavage convert into acid acetamide into amine benzamide into amine so it is possible by continuous hydrolysis so giving rise to a product like this so then what will happen so then what will happen so this you know that now the free amine groups are there so this free amine group is treated with uh, cocl2 so what is the name of the compound called cocl2 cocl2 is called phosgene okay so uh, it is a liquid okay and what will happen it is highly reactive okay you one should not open the lid of uh, uh, phosgene bottle and this phosgene phosgene bottle stored uh, in a closed container and this phosgene should not react with the atmosphere so what will happen this phosgene it is highly reactive with the nucleophile this is an electrophile so the there will be a new bond formation between this nitrogen and this co and this nitrogen and this co so there will be a removal of uh, two molecule of hydrogen chloride and this reaction is carried out in presence of uh, sodium carbonate sodium carbonate is a base of course you can take one solvent called benzene or hexane whatever it is even this reaction you can carry it out in uh, uh mixture of uh, solvents water and uh, benzene also or uh, water and uh, dichloromethane edc mdc is there no in that also you can carry it out okay so what you need to do you need to take uh, this compound in a solvent and uh, to that you have to add sodium carbonate and phosgene you have to pass slowly add to this moiety so there will be immediately okay after the addition of phosgene immediately it will form a compound like this and the role of sodium uh, carbonate is to arrest the formed uh, hcl so then only a biotin structure is obtained this is how the biotin is synthesized in a laboratory and it involves a few steps okay starting with these two uh, reactant or uh, raw material so i will repeat it again uh, uh, four benzamido this this group four benzamido three keto uh, uh, tetrahydrothiophene is treated with gamma formyl butyrate there will be a new double bond between this carbon and this carbon removal of water and it is a condensation reaction the obtained one and the obtained one is treated with hydroxylamide means this ketone is converted into oxime oxime means c double bond noh and the c double bond noh is reduced with zinc in acetic acid so that means zinc in acetic acid converts c double bond noh to c single bond nh2 and the c single bond nh2 when it is treated with acetic anhydride it's convert into nhac means acetyl uh, uh, n acetyl is obtained and the third step conversion of this double bond to single bond is uh, this uh, catalytic hydrogenation so this is hydrolyzed ester is hydrolyzed n acetyl is hydrolyzed benzamide is uh, hydrolyzed forming a, this compound 
this compound and treating with uh, phosgene gives uh, biotin so this is about the synthesis of biotin so with this i will go for a uh, what is called uh, biological importance of biotin so next step is about the biological importance of biotin so biological importance of vitamin h or biotin so you know that uh, uh, biotin is the coenzyme okay biotin is the coenzyme required by the enzyme that catalyzes carboxylation of the carbon so you know that carboxylation means addition of carbon dioxide carboxylation of the carbon adjacent to the carbonyl group so look here this is one example i am telling so you know that uh, this is a carbonyl group so to this carbonyl group adjacent to group adjacent uh, one is carbon so carboxylation of the carb uh, carboxylation of the carbon adjacent to the carbonyl group that means a carbon dioxide is added added to this carbon so that is how hydroxyacetate is obtained so that means uh, uh, biotin is the uh, coenzyme required by the enzyme that catalyzes the carboxylation of carbon adjacent to the carbonyl group thereby it converts uh, pyruvate into oxalopyruvate okay similarly it also convert acetyl coenzyme a so this acetyl coenzyme a is also contain carbon adjacent to the carbonyl group what it means it means that it it will convert a uh, carbon which is attached to the carbonyl group is converted into a carboxylated one so thereby it will convert acetyl coenzyme a okay this is the acetyl coenzyme a is converted into melonyl coenzyme a so melonic acid means ch2 co2h uh, co2h this group is melonic acid and this is melonyl Uh, this melonyl is a substituent and this will be the parent compound coenzyme a coenzyme a is represented as c o a s h c o a s h is called coenzyme a so this is about the uh, biological importance so what you can write you can write that biotin is the coenzyme required by the enzymes that catalyzes the uh, carboxylation carboxylation of the carbon adjacent to a carbonyl group for example pyruvate pyruvate carboxylase so here pyruvate carboxylase is a enzyme and pyruvate carboxylase is the enzyme that required by the uh, in, uh, required by the coenzyme called biotin and this enzyme convert pyruvate into uh, oxalo acetate by uh, uh, carboxylating the carbon adjacent to the carbonyl group and for this process uh, the enzymes uses bicarbonate okay bicarbonate as the source of carboxylation source of carbonyl group and here atp is also involved okay and uh, pyruvate uh, uh, carboxylase is a enzyme of course magnesium uh, metal also is, is involved so actually uh, we will uh, discuss okay or uh, you are going to learn about how the pyruvate is converted into oxalate um, mechanistically in your uh, third semester but not now now you just learn the learn about the reaction or Uh, learn about how you can write the uh, uh, write in terms of words also okay but uh, this mechanism you are going to learn in your third semester more particularly bio biochemical uh, mechanisms under the chapter called biochemical mechanism uh right 
so this is about the mechanism so uh, biological importance so biological importance means uh, biological importance of biotin or uh, uh, vitamin h means you need to mention that biotin is the uh, uh, coenzyme required by the enzyme that uh, that carboxylate that carboxylate the carbon adjacent to a carbonyl group and uh, for this process enzyme uses bicarbonate for the source of carboxyl group and here uh, th there is also a involvement of atp and magnesium okay suppose if there is a question predict the product uh, for the following equation then they will give from here to here up to this so this product you need to write okay suppose if if they framed question in such a way that so if they framed question directly uh, 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 give the synthesis and biological importance of biotin means you have to write uh, previous slide as well as this one maybe they will ask for five marks question okay this is about uh, biological uh, importance so this is melonyl coenzyme a and this is uh, uh, oxaloacetate right so this is about uh, biological importance so maybe what i will do with this uh, i will uh, go for a next slide otherwise what i will say i will take a one more uh, vitamin uh, if there is no doubt okay uh, do you have any doubt in uh, synthesis and uh, biological importance of vitamin if there is no doubt means i will go for a next uh, vitamin and the next vitamin is called uh, ascorbic acid so vitamin c vitamin c is called uh, ascorbic acid of course this is also a water soluble one and uh, where and all you can found the uh, vitamin c vitamin c is found in almost all citrus fruits so citrus fruits means maybe a orange or maybe a lemon okay uh, all this uh, uh, and even uh, tomatoes okay potatoes it is pre uh, vitamin c is present in tomato it is also present in potato and also present in green leafy vegetables okay so deficiency effects some uh, okay uh, sh uh, sore gum uh, bleeding under the skin and uh, it's called a scurvy okay uh, and uh, uh, there is a question okay what is the deficiency of effect, effect of vitamin c so you can write uh, this particular words that is sore gums bleeding under the skin and scurvy okay uh, you need you can write that and this will be the structure of uh, vitamin c and the name uh, one more name for the vi uh, vitamin c is called ascorbic acid okay here i am writing the ring structure okay you can also write the open chain structure so that i will show it in the next slide okay so what you can observe you can observe that uh two hydroxy group one double bond a five membered ring and a, it's a lactone it's called a lactone of course more particularly uh, we can say that uh, furanoside okay uh, it is again uh, one uh, a carbohydrate only ascorbic uh, vitamin c uh, ascorbic acid is a carbohydrate only okay uh, with this i will go for a synthesis so here i think you are familiar with the conversion of open chain structure into a ring strain structure more particularly uh, you are also familiar with the conversion of uh, open chain structure into a havart structure so that uh, we are uh, utilizing uh, in synthesizing the ascorbic acid so let's uh, uh, move to the next slide next slide will give you the information about the synthesis of ascorbic acid so i am taking uh, here you just observe this now tell me uh, is it a uh, d glucose 
so this is a d glucose more particularly it is written in a inverted manner so you can write that cho here and this will be the uh, uh, right hand side oh h oh oh so what it means it is uh, written in a inverted manner inverted manner means we have to observe from here so then it will come uh, clearly so if we are looking from here cho is on the top oh is on the right h oh h oh oh okay this is the structure of uh, d glucose so what will happen so this d glucose when it is uh, subjected to catalytic hydrogenation so catalytic hydrogenation you know that this is a uh, aldehyde aldehyde means carbonyl group so aldehydes on undergoes reduction in presence of hydrogen so it will convert this cho into ch2oh and the obtained compound is called sorbitol okay sorbitol means uh, both the side ch2oh ch2oh and oh h oh oh h oh h h this is the sorbitol then this sorbitol subjected to uh, azetobacter suboxidase so this is one bacteria okay so this bacterial uh, oxidation so this one is selectively oxidizes uh, this hydroxy group into ketone so here more selective and that what uh, selective means it it does not affect this carbon this carbon and this carbon it only convert this hydroxy group into ketone and uh, this is the bacterial oxidation and name of this one is called azetobacter suboxidase dase okay then uh, a compound obtained this so in a next slide what i am doing i am converting this into a a uh, five member drink furanose okay so that i will show you now this is a five member drink furanose uh, one so what you can observe here a hydroxy group is here means axial position this is also a hydroxy group is axial position and uh, uh, hydroxy group is axial position of course ch2oh is in equatorial position so what will happen here you know that uh, uh, ketal formation so ketal means ketal can be formed so uh, when these uh, glycols so now these two are glycol these two are glycol so these glycols when it is treated with acetone so there will be a removal of water so how means maybe the lone pair lone pair or bond pair can react with this carbon and this convert into a oh later stage otherwise instead of converting oh this can also attack this carbon and this will go out as a uh, oh minus overall what will be forming there will be a formation of a ketal so ketal means uh, there will be a new bond formation between this oxygen and this carbon this oxygen and this carbon this o will go out as a water molecule so the obtained one is called ketal because you are using a ketone so here it is only the process of protection of these two hydroxy group these two hydroxy group is protected now similarly these two hydroxy group is protected by treating with acetone so overall what i can say that vicinal diols okay vicinal diols is converted into uh, ketal this is also vicinal diol is converted into ketal then what is left over the left over thing is primary alcohol this primary alcohol is left over so this is the one is left over so now this left over uh, uh, primary alcohol on oxidation with kmno4 so what will happen primary alcohol on oxidation with kmno4 initially give uh, 
aldehyde and uh, the obtained aldehyde further oxidizes to carboxylic acid since uh, i think you know that alkaline came no4 so alkaline came no4 means it will form a carboxylate salt so had uh, what it means it means that we are selectively converting this ch2oh into carboxylic uh, acid moiety so now the deprotection so deprotection of this uh, vicinal diol is uh, op obtained by treating with the proton source so here sulfuric acid itself we are using for the deprotection of ketal so this is the protection protected one will go out means forming a oh so this uh, my, that means this protection o o uh, c ch3 ch3 there will be a breakage here forming oh oh similarly here there is a breakage here forming oh oh and uh, and this ring strain furanoside is converted into open chain structure this is the open chain structure and one more thing this is the open chain open chain structure of uh, what is called as ascorbic acid okay uh, um, what you can find in ascorbic acid more particularly in the open chain structure a ketone functional group a carboxylic acid functional group and ch2oh functional group of course these are uh, uh, a, a of course this is chiral carbon atom this is one more chiral and this is one more three chiral carbon atoms are present here and this is the open chain structure of ascorbic acid this open chain structure is converted into a ring uh, ring structure so more particularly how many carbon atoms so 1 2 3 4 5 five carbon atom furanoside and how it will form uh, there will be a removal of uh, water moiety how the water moiety is going out in presence of h plus okay uh, so what is there will be, maybe uh, uh, this bond pair can come over here this will go out so there will be a formation of double bond here and there will be a uh, reaction between the lone pair or bond pair on this oxygen and then this carbonyl group so that means there will be a formation uh, no no it uh, yeah uh, no 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 actually what is happening you know that this is a carbonyl group isn't it so this carbonyl group uh, can obstruct a proton and this bond pair is going over that means double bond is not forming here double bond is forming between the carbonyl carbon and the adjacent carbon so that is how a double bond is formed and since there is a involvement of here and this co is gets converted into oh that is how two ohs are obtained here right and uh, that means uh, right and then what is that uh, uh, this uh, carbon and this carbon there will be a double bond formation and this oh and uh, uh, this acid ester formation cyclic ester formation lactone formation so removal of h and oh okay water so all these things is happening in chloroform itself okay uh, uh, there will be a removal of water there will be a uh, removal of uh, uh, yeah that's what uh, only the removal of water so that means there will be a new bond formation between this oxygen and this carbonyl carbon okay removal of water forming a lactone and uh, what is next uh, this bond pair is coming over here and this bond pair picks up a proton that is how a vicinal diol is obtained and this uh, alcohol is involved in a lactone formation with carboxylic acid this one is living as it is so this is the structure of uh, ascorbic acid and the uh, oh group is on the left hand side that is the reason it's called l uh, ascorbic acid and one more thing all naturally occurring uh, ones are l uh, here l is active d is inactive that you need to remember this is about the synthesis of uh, 
uh, ascorbic acid so with this i will uh, go for a next slide so next slide uh, will give you the information about the uh, what is called as uh, biological importance i think you know that uh, uh, the difference between the uh, uh, we are inhaling the oxygen so the fate of oxygen in the living system is convert into a radical so when it is converting into a radical that should be arrest okay that is possible to arrest uh, again in two phase one is in uh, fat region and aqueous region so in the aqueous region the uh, free day free radical uh, can be uh, uh, what is called as uh, arrested by vitamin c otherwise what we can say that uh, it will act as a, a free radical trapper in aqueous media so what we can say that vitamin traps radical in aqueous environment aqueous means where there is a presence of water and it is an antioxidant so it is antioxidant means it will trap a radical in the aqueous medium because it prevents the oxidation reactions by ra radicals okay so that is the reason it is antioxidant so vitamin e vitamin c is required for the synthesis of collagen uh, you know that structural protein which is a structural protein of skin tendons connective tissues and bone this is about the uh, biological importance of ascorbic acid so now tell me is there any doubt in uh, vitamin h as well as vitamin c no sir no so maybe uh, if there is no doubt means uh, maybe i will uh, stop at this stage uh, uh, in the next class i will continue the remaining uh, uh, two vitamins one is vitamin e another is vitamin k maybe the maybe in one class i will be able to complete the vitamin uh, chapter afterwards i will take a question and answer discussion then i will go for a uh, one more chapter called amino acids and uh, proteins maybe in the next week okay so now i will uh, stop sharing if there is no uh, doubts is there any doubt no sir right uh, i will